Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my fall and Halloween home decor tour. I hope this gets you in the cozy fall spirit. We already have leaves falling all over the place here and I am just getting so many fall vibes. I had to get my witches out for this tour, maybe a little earlier than I usually do. I don't know what the people driving by think, but I thought they needed to be out especially for this tour. So the metal pumpkin buckets I found at Walmart several years ago. The witches are from Home Depot and the sign I just got this year from Michaels and the pumpkins by the door are also from Home Depot and I got those this year. The Hello Pumpkin doormat is from Joanne and the super cute wreath is from my mom. She made it. So come on in and I'll give you a little tour of what I have decorated. Welcome to our home. This is the first view that you see whenever you walk in our front door. Um, is our credenza and my favorite beautiful chair over there. But if you just turn around, I do have a little entry area with a bench and a pillow. Um, I do plan on getting another bench, but I think I may have said in a previous video that um, the ones that I'm finding have no backs. And I was wondering that since this one has a back, it might seem a little weird to not have a back. But we have this we have this small little entry area right off of the front door, so if the kids need to put their shoes on or I have these hooks that they sometimes hang their backpacks on. Um, this pillow is from Joanne and I got that last year. Um, the bench is from like a vintage market. It's made from like repurposed furniture and wood. And this basket, everyone loves this basket. It is from Target. I think it's the Threshold brand. And I got it last year and I think they brought it back this year and people were really excited about it. But um, that is from Target and there's just some little fall foliage in it. And I didn't really do anything different up here. It's the same thing. And there's a tag hanging out my plant. It's the same thing that I always keep up there. Um, a sign that says let's stay home and a few faux plants. <clears throat> this is the rug that I just picked up at TJ Maxx for the entryway. Here I have this plant that I got at Home Goods and my beautiful bust statue that I got at an antique store. <clears throat> I love it because it has, let me show you, it has that on the back and it says the Louvre. So I know they make reproduction busts and I think they've sold them at times. So it, did that really come from the Louvre in France? Whether I'm sure it's reproduction, but I just think that's cool if it did. But that was a fun find at an antique store. And then we have my credenza, which is full of like school papers and just mail. It's, it's scary inside, but I have to have a place to stick that stuff. Um, I did change out this art print just recently. Um, the one that I had up before was beautiful, but it was more of like a springtime look. And I saw this one and I just thought it was so beautiful for fall and winter. Um, I got it at Pier 1. And then I just have some old vintage books with some of those concrete pumpkins from Hobby Lobby. And then I have this candle that's in like this little wood dough bowl. And I believe I got that at TJ Maxx or Home Goods. And this lamp is from Pier 1. I just thought it looked so cute and kind of had like an antique glam vibe to it. 
Um, and then I got this garland from Wayfair. And I just thought it was so beautiful. It would be beautiful for fall or even winter. And it's like gold with little sparkly. Kept the fall decor pretty subdued and neutral in here. Um, these are the pillows that I just got at TJ Maxx, which I showed you in my last video. And this big pillow is from Target. Here on my coffee table, I just have this tray and this little sign I got at the Target dollar spot this year. Um, I got this beautiful pumpkin and it lights up and I got that at TJ Maxx and it's just sitting on top of this like 100 year old dictionary then for my fireplace I just have these antique crocs with some vines and pumpkins and then I have some vines and a pumpkin garland on the mantle. I just thought it was a very soft, natural look. And this is my favorite spot with my chair from Joss and Main. Then I have this Hello Pumpkin pillow. And I got this vase at Pier One and with the um, Stems. They have these at Pier 1 and Hobby Lobby. I just thought that was a beautiful touch for fall and really all year round. I think they will look gorgeous. Then you come over here to our dining area. And I have a, I have the table set for fall. It is morning, so the sunshine is pouring in and it may be a little hard to see. I just have these place settings out um, and that's like a burlap placemat. I'm not sure. Either got those at Hobby Lobby or Pier 1. The chargers are from Pier 1 and then I just have a simple white plate which I believe is hearth and hand and this gold leopard plate and that's from Pier 1 and a cute little pumpkin on top and then I just love this table runner I got that at TJ Maxx this season and it's just so pretty and shimmery I also just got this bowl. I thought it would be so pretty for I thought it would be so pretty for fruit. And right now I have some pears in it, the bosque pears. I just thought these pears were so pretty. They look like fall to me. So instead of getting a bouquet of flowers, I got a bowl of pears. And then I have this candelabra that I picked up at an antique store. And I really just love these short little candles. I get them at Hobby Lobby or Pier One. Um, they come already short and they're just so cute. The long taper ones, I don't know, I never have good luck with them. They always kind of like tip over and I don't like that. So I think these are perfect. And then I, I have this sign over here, and that is from Kirkland's. Then I just have some other foliage up here that could be for fall or really any season, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. 
this thing um, is just something in the corner that I found at an antique store. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I just put little pretties in there. That is a really cute framed print from Hearth and Hand. I bought it and I really didn't know where to put it. I just stuck it in there. And that is a tea towel and my sister made that for me and it's my great grandma's recipe in her handwriting. So in the kitchen, I was trying to go really simple in here. Um, I was just doing like little pops of orange, but then I put this pumpkin in here and I feel like it kind of threw it off. But this is where I put my pumpkin centerpiece that I got at TJ Maxx the other day. And I just think this is so pretty. And then over here, I just have this cute Halloween Boston Terrier tea towel. Um, as you may know, we have a Boston Terrier, so whenever I see stuff like this, I just think it's so cute, and I have to get it. And this is a cutting board that I got at Home Goods a long time ago. It's magenta. I just have some candles burning, and this apothecary jar with candy corn in. I just thought that looked so bright and fun. And there's one chicken left remaining. Uh, I'm not sure how long it will stay there. And then I have this cute pumpkin dish. I have my Mrs. Meyers acorn spice dish soap. And then I have this beautiful tea towel. It is from Target. I think it's the Smith and Hawkins collection. I got it probably last year, maybe the year before. Um, I have this fresh baked pumpkin pie sign that I got at Big Lots a while ago. And then I just put a few little of those orange things in the flowers to give it a little fall touch. And then this little coffee area over here with my pumpkin queen mug I just found. I have some cutting boards up against the island and the dogs are not giving me any peace. I have this painting hanging here, um, but I think I'm gonna change it. I have an abstract piece that I wanna hang there, but it doesn't go in the frame, so I'm just trying to figure out what I should put there. Oh, and um, just put a few pumpkins up there on that cabinet. So down here in the family room, I did more of a fun Halloween theme. We'll start over here where I got these bats from Amazon and I just stuck them to the wall and the mirror and they kind of look like they're just flying out of the fireplace. I had like a big pretty orchid there and I just thought it looked a little too pretty for the Halloween vibe so I got this spooky tree at TJ Maxx.
And then I have these giant pumpkins that I got at TJ Maxx in a previous year and I wasn't sure what to do with them so I just stuck them there. Then I ordered this garland which is absolutely beautiful. Um, I ordered that from Michaels online and it says they're sold out and it was online only. This trick or treat sign I got at TJ Maxx this year. And then I have these little pumpkin planters on this scale that I got at an antique store. Then I have my Hocus Pocus pillows down here on the chairs. I'm not sure where I got that pillow. Maybe Sam's Club a few years ago. I do not remember. Then I have another Hocus Pocus pillow over here. And this little thing that says Home Sweet Haunted Home and a little pumpkin. Then I just found some little things in the Target dollar spot to put in here. These light up jars. That cute little sign. The ghost. And then that jar. And that I got at Michael's. Then over here we have Billy Bones. He's fun to move around and place in different spots over the Halloween season. Found this cute pillow in the Target dollar spot the other day. And I bought this at a local store, a local boutique. And it's like fabric ticking pumpkin. And then I have these two pumpkins. Not sure where I got those. And sometimes I like these candles for pictures, but I just didn't do it now. Um, I will turn the lights out and show you guys what everything looks like at night down here with these candles lit, but that's not something I typically do. Actually, I just ordered some battery operated candles to put up there. I also recently got that painting from Amazon and I do have an Amazon storefront and I will link that down below. A lot of my favorite things are linked there. I think I have this basket linked in my Amazon store which I just love that basket so much. And then I don't have anything all related on these shelves. And I have more of this garland that is just so pretty. And these are battery operated candles. And they're so bright and they just look so pretty at night and cozy. Then I got this grass at Big Lots this year. Cause I had a big um, green grass there and I just wanted something a little more fall-like and neutral. I've tried putting like different stems and flowers there and I never end up liking it, but that worked well for me. And then I got these glass pumpkins at Target this year. And then I just put some twinkle lights inside them.
And here it is at nighttime, all spooky and cozy. And that is it for my fall tour. Um, I didn't do much decorating in my bedroom. I think I have like one fall pillow, so I didn't include it in the tour. But that is everything that I have decorated. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I would really appreciate it if you would take the time to subscribe to my channel and hit that thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Thank you.